morning reading for uh, Sagittarian season. Sagittarian season begins November 21st until December, November 22nd until December 21st. So, um, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is all about money and prosperity and what is going to be coming up, what is going to be transpiring, how your financial flow is going to be flowing, how your money is going to be flowing, how is it for uh, your prosperity um, when it comes up. Now at the top, there is four symbols. You can choose one of the four symbol that is going to be showing you the extended of what is here for you. So first you are seeing what you have to deal with. It is four weeks. In the first week, um, we see some sort of fire energy. In the second week, um, you're trying to find strength. In the third week, I see you want to have some sort of a peace because something, some sort of information comes out and that is going to bring peace. And in the last week, I see you're um, could be um, receiving multiple offers coming in that can help you to manifest uh, your prosperity. So there was a lot of issues leaving um, the scorpion uh, season, coming in the Sagittarian season, and now you're trying to rebalance. So I see you're dealing with some sort of a situation where um, number seven is um, as playing a significant role in Sagittarian. Now you are a Leo and Sagittarian is your sister sign. And when it comes up, when um, your sister sign is here, your sister sign is um, helping you to rebalance some sort of uh, issues um, or challenges that you have in your financial world. Um, you need to find out if there is Sagittarian in your birth chart. If Sagittarian is in your birth chart, Jupiter is going to be bringing some of you Leo's luck. So remember, these are general readings and um, uh, money reading takes a longer time. And what happened um, is that with the money readings, you are um, realizing um, when you go to the extended of this reading, how these energies are affecting your life um, in this four weeks period. OK, because uh, um, if you notice everything, a month of four weeks uh, um, the seasons are four weeks. So, so what we're seeing is that uh, the seven of ones. What is the energy of the seven of ones? The seven of ones is always standing your ground. But in the first week, um, it's as if you have lose all um, is instability when it comes on to your financial world. So whatever is happening in the lives of you Leos so is as if you're losing balance with your um, materialistic flow and it is coming up to payday and normally um, this happened at this period for a whole lot of people because uh, um, you know you pay your rent you pay your debts and then it's Christmas coming up so you have to turn to the credit cards so this is what we're seeing that is happening and transpiring because you're in the state of kind of worrying what Christmas is going to be like because of uh, you are in some sort of an instability. Now, if you notice, you have two eyes, the energy of seven. You have the seven of wands and you have the seven of cups. So coming in this period, it is as if you're um, instable. But as you come out of this period, you're going to be um, on the part of receiving more help. So at Christmas, uh, the week of Christmas, the 21st, when Sagittarius is over, I see that more help is going to be coming in for you and this is going to be good. So it is wonderful and it's exciting. It's exciting. It's wonderful. Um, I see um, that you're going to be coming out of this season in a very positive way. OK, as we look at the second week, what is happening in the second week? Strength. You're trying to find strength to deal with some sort of a situation because you realize that, you know, people have cost you a lot and people have created some sort of an instability when it comes on to your financial world. And now you're trying to rebalance the situation and you feel as if you're lost because you have no idea what direction to go in because you realize that you have come to the end of a situation where you were really um, rolling in the dough and now it's as if the dough is no longer there and uh, um, the person that used the financial um, 
um, help you is no longer there. There is self-help conflict, self-help issues that is transpiring. So it's, um, it is a moment of you being aware that, hey, Jesus, I never realized um, that I never know that I, it would have come to this point. It's as if, um, you know, everything is dried up. I have no idea um, where to go and how to find some sort of a help and stability in my world. So what we're seeing and what we're understanding is that you are recognizing that the financial flow that you used to have, it is not flowing as it is or as it was. And you have to find some sort of a way in order to balance out that so that uh, you can regain that stability. So whatever happened in the first week coming in the second week, the second week is the week where you are really realizing, whoa, I, I've hit it. I've hit rock bottom. Something is happening here. I need to make some sort of a changes, some sort of a situation, some sort of a new um, situation, some sort of a new stability need to be happening because I am losing my ground. And I see that that is what is going to be coming up and taking place uh, in the second week. In the third week, you're going to be um, finding and going within and trying to figure out uh, a way to regain some sort of a new stability. And I see you're going to be um, really thinking, thinking, what is it? What can I go? How can I uh, regain? How can I pick up? How can I um, make this change? Um, where can I go? Where can I look? Where is it? Uh, um, that I'm variable to pick up some sort of a work, some sort of a, um, a way of receiving um, financial stability. And I see truth is going to be coming in. And then you're going to be realizing that, hey, this is, uh, um, and you're going to be start to plan and make a plan because you realize that you're at the point that you have to make some sort of a plan because you're realizing um, that you're at the stage that, uh, you know, it's not working out anymore. Um, that flow is not here. And I have to, um, within myself, reach out to find what it is and how can I create my own wealth and stability. So you're taking time off in the third week in order um, to recreate or replan to bring balance in your world. And it is good when people take time off in order to um, find out uh, what direction to go and how to make that change and how to find a way to create my um, financial stability. And I see that this is the direction that you are going to be uh, taking in the third week where you, you're like, at, if even you are at work, uh, you're going to be in yourself trying to figure out and, um, uh, you know, at the pause, you're looking online, seeing what is there, what can I do? Um, that sort of a situation is going to be coming in for a lot of you. And you're going to be realizing that I need to find some other way because this is not working out. What my, my career, my career part, uh, um, what I'm doing is not working out because now I am seeing that nothing is uh, coming in. So if you have a business, it could be um, a situation as that. If you have uh, um, a job and you realize that at the end of uh, um, your contract wasn't um, extended, you realize that, hey, I got to uh, um, find another job. So I see that as you get to the fourth week, a lot of opportunities is going to be opening up. The, the week of Christmas, people could be helping you. You could be going... Um, to family and your family is telling you about this new place, this new, and then you're going to be realizing, wow, okay, so there is light at the end of the channel. So a lot of people, especially in this timeline, always um, find out that uh, um, uh, their contract is not going to be extended because of whatever reason, this is COVID time and that sort of a thing. So you're going to be realizing um, yeah, what am I going to do? Because it's, it's, it's if fright comes in. And this is what I say to a lot of people. If just saying that it's time for you to change and it's time for you to make some sort of a change in your world. So it's not something to just uh, take to heart. It's just sometime 
it is just time for you to realize that something isn't working this career isn't working and you move on to another career and that's it a lot of people get panic and there is no reason to be panic it is just that okay so i have to find something else all right and when you do that, then the universe is good. But when you start panic and creating the, all of these thoughts, uh, that is what the universe is going to give to you. So a lot of you are going to be understanding um, that in the week of Christmas, a lot of people you're going to be connecting with, a lot of people and a lot of people are going to be telling you and giving you ideas of uh, what direction to go. And this is going to be good. So it is, um, um, it is, uh, it isn't easy, especially when you find out and you realize what is going to be transparent. Remember, these are general reading and it doesn't have to affect you in this way, but it can um, for a lot of you that is going through this situation because it's a money reading, so it will affect you. Now, the outcomes is going to be choosing one of the above because as you choose one of the above, what is happening in transparent is that you are going to be creating your own frequency and your own way further. So if you notice, um, people do their things differently. And what transpires is that because it's a general reading, this is what the general is going to be getting. But each and every person frequency is different. So even that you are all a group of Leo, your financial situation is going to be affecting you in different ways. So that is why we have four things to choose from and you can choose one of these four things and see what how, what is the outcomes that is going to be uh, transparent for you so what you see here is the issues uh, that is going to be inconvenient to you or convenient to you or it's going to be helping you or it's going to be working against you but in the third week you're going to be realizing and seeing um the new direction and as we get in uh, uh, the fifth week, you could just at a party, you meet the love of your life, this very rich and some man, and uh, things is over. So there we go. Not to worry. Um, choose one of the top ones, and by um using the blue join button, you can um see the extended of this, where we're going in details and in depth. We're going to be do looking at a diamond shape, and you can choose one of them, and you will know what is going to be your frequency that is coming in in the Sagittarian period. I love you guys. Gotta go. Namaste. Yeah.